love this bag, but I don't want to get water spots on it. Oh, God forbid the Vicacha gets darker. Oh, I was enjoying my bag so much until, look, look, a water spot. <laughs> I should have treated it. Now it's ugly. It's so ugly. I can't believe it. I'm so deathly afraid of my Vicata becoming darker. I don't know how to treat it. I don't want to touch it. I'm afraid of using it because what if it rains or snows? I'm afraid of using it because of patina. I really don't want it to get darker. I just wish I could use it, but I'm so afraid. What if I sweat? Oh my God, I just, I can't even use it. I can't even use this bag. I'm so afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Sis, wake up. The cutter is meant to get darker. This is the legacy of Louis Vuitton. The vaquetta was made in a way that it's supposed to darken to a beautiful honey patina over time. If you hate it so much, find another brand. Why are we so bloody afraid of patina? Patina phobia. That's right, I said patina phobia. It's a thing. It's actually a fucking thing. It's a huge thing. It's an irrational fear. A pandemic among the Louis Vuitton community. Patinophobia. Really? I'm going to tell you today why it's absolutely irrational to have patinophobia. And if you have patinophobia, maybe Louis Vuitton is not for you. Let's cover up these gorgeous bag handles with ugly coverings, knitted crochet coverings that look like your great great grandmother made them for World War II. Let's just wrap them up and just hide them and then your bag's going to look hideous. And if you're wondering why I've never had a case of patinophobia, I've never had water spots or an even patina, continue watching and you'll find out. <sighs> this is almost self-inflicted emotional and mental abuse. Nobody should go through this. I don't care who you are. If you really have so much anxiety over something that's supposed to naturally occur, maybe you should move to another brand. Maybe stick with a damier a ben. Maybe stick with non vacation pieces if it bothers you that much. But it has always been beyond my understanding why anyone would even want to buy any traditional Louis Vuitton piece with traditional vacata and freak out over the patina. Patina is something that is a natural process of vacata and that honey color is gorgeous. Why wouldn't you want to let your bags bloom? To me, patina is the coming of age for a bag. It's the benchmark, the absolute prime of your bag when your Louis Vuitton has matured into something beautiful. When you first buy it and it's that stark white, it's almost like it's in childhood or teenage phase that hasn't bloomed yet into a beautiful woman. Think of it that way. It's not mature yet. It still looks awkward, stark white, and not ready for the world. So it has to have experience and gain experience through your usage and well in taking care of it to make sure that it patinas properly. It really isn't hard to gain a natural patina. It li all it literally takes is regular wiping down your leather with leather wipes, especially ones with beeswax and vitamin E and aloe in it, I highly recommend, and coconut oil. And then treating your vacata with oil treatments every time you wipe it down. So when it's damp, it absorbs the oil better and you want to massage into the bag or a massage into your vacata evenly. And I do have a video on how I did that with my old Neverfull. I will link it below. Um, I don't have leather wipes with me um, today to actually show you the process. But what I did want to tell you today is and explain to you guys why it's so irrational to have patinophobia. It's just such an odd concept to me. It's like the same bitches who bitch about Oh, the Neverfull is, is such an open bag. Anyone can steal anything. It doesn't have a zipper. It's not meant to have a zipper. It's a bloody tote bag. It's an open tote bag. If you hate it so much, if you're complaining about it, why the fuck did you buy it? Why the fuck did you buy it? Buy something else. Your fear of patina is preventing you from enjoying your bag to the max. 
it's preventing you from truly enjoying your bag as it's meant to be enjoyed. And it really is beyond me how so many women have this fear when it's so easily preventable. Literally just coat your vaqueta in a few coats of oil, wipe it down every now and then, oil treatments, and you'll completely weatherproof your vaqueta. It can rain, it can snow on it, and it will be fine. I've been saying this for years, for years since I was a teenager, and it's like nobody's listening. Or it's because they have this fear of patina that they don't want to darken the vaqueta. So their goal is to keep it white as possible, but at the same time, if you don't treat it, you are going to get water spots and you are going to get sweat spots because it's untreated. You have to do some sort of treatment to it so it has even patina. And it's, it's kind of like if you don't want to do that, then you're going to live in anxiety for the rest of your bag's life. And is it really worth paying all that money to be in fear all the time? And, and if I'm really honest, if you hate patina that much, don't bloody buy Viquetta. Buy a fake Louis Vuitton bag that's made of fake leather that never oxidizes. I just don't understand. I really cannot comprehend. I don't, I don't see the logic. I, I cannot get in line with people who have this like fear of the Viquetta getting darker. I just don't understand it. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to happen. It's meant to happen. If it wasn't, they would use leather like Arcadia or Dunian Buck, where the, the, the leather doesn't change. But Vicetta is supposed to oxidize. Let me repeat myself. Vicetta is supposed to oxidize. If you don't like it, stay away from Vicetta.